Let's open up and tour a 2022 Forest River Rockwood Geo Pro G19FD. Hello and good morning everybody. This is Chris with Great Escapes RV Supercenter and it is my pleasure to show off this super awesome travel trailer with you guys today. We're gonna walk around the exterior, show you guys some of the cool features Then I'm gonna get on the roof and do the same thing. Then we'll go inside the RV, show you how practical would it be if you had to be parked on the side of the road to maybe catch some Z's, cook a meal, or use the restroom. How easily accessible is this RV? Then we're gonna take and open it all up and give you guys a final overlook at this really awesome travel trailer. Thank you so much for joining us. Let's rock and roll. Fully molded fiberglass front cap on here. This is a really nice look on this. Of course, this RV just came from Forest River, so we haven't even had a chance to run it through our fully automated uh, RV wash station. You got a power tongue jack on here with a built-in convenience light that comes in extremely handy for docking up at night. You're gonna have dual 20 pound propane tanks which you fill upon your purchase as well as provide you with a battery. You also have an additional slot if you did wanna add another battery. It's got a nice little diamond guard rock plate on here to help as far as rock chips goes. You got an LED running light on here. This is an Asdell camper. Just a really, really nice build on this. Fiberglass sidewall, heated and controlled underbelly thermostatically controlled as well, which we'll get into that a little bit further. Um, you've got a nice setup here for an additional solar panel if you guys wanted to. You've got a 190 watt solar panel on the roof. Open this compartment right here. You've got a section to be able to have a little bit of storage right here. This does have manual jacks, but get you a three quarter inch socket, hook that up to a drill. That's gonna raise and lower much faster. You got a 13 foot full span awning with the built in LED light strip. Very, very nice, it is the Solera. Coming down here, also open up this. You can see you got a nice amount of pass-through storage in here. You also have some additional accessories, a suburban cooktop, outdoor grill. Um, you got a little table as well for uh, you know countertop prep space outside. And then this is the rack for that cooktop. I like that as well. They got the nice little magnetic catches on there. It's got the key to like locks on here. It also has the nice little key pad. You guys can put your codes and stuff in there to be able to do that. This is the 19FD by Forest River. Asdell on board, very, very nice. You got a 110 power source right here. You also have upgraded knobby off-road tires. That's pretty sweet. Aluminum rims, Dexter axles, and you have tire pressure monitoring sensors. Very cool. There's a nice little LP connection right here for your outdoor grill. This is also the bracket with that table that I was mentioning up front that will lock into place right here for additional countertop prep space outside. Frameless glass windows, marine grade outdoor speakers. This is an awesome RV. Six gallon hot water heater. It's got a 17.5 quick recovery rate on it. And then right here, more storage, but you've got an onboard whole house water filtration system. That is awesome. This is such a cool camper. Coming around back here, you're gonna see you have uh, upgraded LED running lights on the top, bottom, and on the sides. You've got a pre-wire for the Furion backup camera. You've got an access ladder to gain access to your fully walkable roof. This is your convenience center right here as far as cable TV and satellite input, tank flushing, um, city water connection, and to winterize your camper. I got one hand on the camera. The other hand is going to grab this ladder. We're going to climb on top and show you guys these cool features. Bear with me. All right. All right. So first of all, over there, you'll see that that is actually our private campground that's included in all new and used purchases, including a training class and an RV starter kit. But you've got a really nice rounded roof on this. This is nice. You also have a 13.5 AC on the top. It's the Coleman Mach, 190 watt solar panel. You've got a nice antenna for finding your channels. It also has LTE capabilities. You have a max air vent fan. This thing is a sweet setup. You can imagine in those cool um, spring and fall times. If you don't want to run your AC, you guys can keep your unit properly ventilated and cooled down with this overpowered fan. Very awesome. 360 siphoning vent, and then you also have a skylight over your shower. Let's get back down here and walk around this a little bit further. This is a 30 amp service. You also have the section right here for your dumping system, for your black and gray. Freshwater uh, low point drain right there. You've got a section right here for uh, potable water, um, 20,000 BTU furnace. You have an outdoor shower as well with hot and cold settings. Open this up. This is the opposite side of your pass-through storage. 
and then open up right here. Additional storage features in here, and they include some really cool stuff, little odds and ends, knickknacks, stuff for hanging uh, your, uh, your toiletry items, and then of course a nice little outdoor spatula for your grill that it comes with. And then that's a manual override for your jacks if you don't use the socket and drill. Um, this is the button right here for your docking lights. Very awesome. Let's check this RV out on the inside. So I have to admit, one of my very first YouTube videos that I posted was on this unit. And I was, I was quite a noob in the RV industry at the time. And <laughs> of course, I'm still a noob for the most part. You can't technically know everything there is to know in the RV industry because then uh, it, it just doesn't make it fun. So we're always interested in having fun learning up these new things. Uh, you have a full-size spare tire. You also have a nice setup with the uh, um, hose um, storage down there as well for your sewer hose. This is a friction hinge door. I like that quite a bit because you don't have to worry about if the wind's blowing, it's not just going to kind of slam shut on you. You've got the uh, privacy curtain on there as well, the privacy shade, and then you've got a nice screen door. This is a nice Moride entry step upgrade. I pull this down like so, set it on the ground. It's uh, very stable as far as entering and exiting goes. You want to make sure you match up your sill plate to this whenever you guys are at the campground. Your door will be able to open and close properly. Let's go ahead and go inside this RV. So, really nice. It's cozy in here. Definitely, um, you can tell it's well insulated. I mean, it just feel, it feels like a good build. Um, aluminum substructure, um, the thermostatically heated and controlled underbelly. That is a really cool thing. Simply uh, your tank heaters, you can take and turn that on. And then uh, of course those things will help in uh, lower temperatures prevent your tank from freezing. Of course, um, water pumps, so when you're carrying your water with you, if you need pressurized uh, to your faucets, um, water heater, whether you're running off of gas or electric, uh, checking your battery, fresh black and gray levels, um, interior lighting, outside porch lights, awning lights, and then you got a step light, and of course an awning extension and retraction on here. And you can do the one control um, application on your phone and operate this uh, remotely. It's got a nice 13.5 AC, which I've got currently turned off, and I've got a pretty high quality mic, so I'm gonna let you guys see what it sounds like. Put it on low cool. Puts out some good amount of air, insulates very well. Um, you've got a nice Murphy setup right here, which I'll set up for you guys. Um, but as you can see, just simply having the couch right here, you guys can lounge back and be able to watch some TV on that upgraded Furion 12 volt uh, TV and DVD player. Very nice on there, that's sweet. Let's go ahead and set this bed up. So what you're gonna do is you take this right here, lift this up, I'll try my best to do it with one hand. That'll fold down, then you take these little locking brackets Pop that here, pop that right here, and then this will come down like so. Very convenient. It is strut assisted on both sides. It's a nice queen size bed, and then when you want to raise it, you simply pull this knob. It will unlock it to be able to raise it back up. So, very cool. Let's go ahead and lock that back into place. You've got 110 power sources on both sides. Uh, more than enough room to be able to handle a uh, CPAP machine. Of course, you've got additional um, cabinet storage in here, hidden hinges, very nice, hang your clothes. Of course, pleated privacy curtain on the front, but you also have the slow rise blackout curtains out on the sides. It's very nice. Emergency exit, carbon monoxide detector, smoke detector, fire extinguisher, all the safety features a typical RV should have. You've got um, USB charging station right here. There's the button for your inverter. Coming right here, you can see a nice little setup with the kitchen area. You got a one piece stainless steel sink insert, nice little vegetable drying rack on here as well. You got an additional leaf extension if you guys want additional countertop prep space. Another section right there with another 110 power source. This is your thermostat right here. Pretty cool uh, feature right here actually. So when you buy a Forest River product, you become a frog owner. And so every year up in Elkhart, Indiana, they have all kinds of rallies and off-road events and all kinds of other cool things. It's really family oriented. You guys would like it quite a bit. Um, overhead hood, so when you're frying up the bacon, uh, of course, tire pressure monitoring sensors, additional cabinet storage in here as well. You've got the Magic Chef three burner cooktop with the built-in um, tempered glass insert. Definitely be careful when you guys are cooking with this because this is not something that you do cook on. And at the same time, when you're done, let it 
cool down completely before putting the tempered glass insert back in. You guys don't want to have the risk of potentially breaking that. Um, convenience lights, so if you guys are moving around at night, and then an oven light for the oven in the bottom, be able to fit you some pizzas, chocolate chip cookies in there. A Magic Chef 12 volt refrigerator, phenomenal. This is just awesome. I've had it plugged in literally about 10 minutes, and I mean, I feel very comfortable putting perishable items in there. It cooled down pretty quick. Um, high point convection microwave. This is awesome. I love that. It's a, definitely much faster as far as cooking, energy, it's high efficient. Um, be able to put you a pizza in there as well. Uh, and also leave a small turkey or a chicken breast. Uh, Furion 12 volt TV with the built in DVD player. You've got your um, solar charge controller right here, pulling in voltage already. And then you've got IRV technologies, AM, FM, Bluetooth. Um, auxiliary multi-zone selection you guys can have on the inside on the outside you've got an HDMI plug-in right there um, it's got a built-in Wi-Fi Ranger which is really sweet you guys go to a campground they say hey we got free Wi-Fi this acts as a booster but it also has LTE capability so you guys can go activate another cell line this can be a personal rolling hotspot awesome your plugs and stuff back here cable TV and satellite outputs and another 110 uh, power source additional cabinet storage I got a nice little booth dinette right here. Simply pull that rod out. This will actually collapse down and give you the ability to sleep an additional person or maybe have that as additional storage. I have a really nice 360 tour on this RV. It'll give you the chance to kind of open up, look inside the fridge, see what this set looks like all set up in the bed portion. And it really gives a much better perspective than what I can provide just simply provided by the, uh, the camera that I have right now. So I highly recommend uh, clicking that link below in the bottom to get that. Let's start uh, walking back here. Really nice, you've got a medicine cabinet and a uh, vanity with another 110 power source. Nice uh, walk-in shower with the skylight. An RV of this size usually gets a plastic toilet, so the fact that they hook you up with a Dometic porcelain toilet, that is a phenomenal, real deal. That is a good job right there, Forest River. I love it. You've got additional uh, cabinet storage back here for all of your toiletry items. Spot you can hang a towel. I souped up four speed max air vent fan. That's phenomenal. I love it. And then of course, this is my favorite. I'm not sure why the entire RV industry has not switched over to this, at least for, you know, basic setups and, um, you know, not applying to like tankless hot water heaters. But so um, if you're an RVer, you know what I'm talking about, but basically you turn on your hot water. This is the same process even at your house. Um, you turn on your hot water, the water's gonna come out cold. The water's gotta get hot. Well, in an RV, of course, your gray tank is collecting this excess um, slash wasted water. So what happens with this is you turn on your hot water, immediately close this valve, and this valve basically recirculates the line. When the line gets hot, this blue sleeve turns white, and then you have instant hot water on demand without wasting a drop of um, gray water. So very efficient. This is an extremely great um, setup on here. It is called the Shower Miser. I absolutely love it. It's very, very cool. Um, nice little organizer right there and of course then you've got your skylight with a nice <laughs> privacy, privacy curtain. Ladies and gents, this is just a brief introduction to this RV. There's still so much more that goes into it. You've even got a little storage center right down here. Pull this out. Very nice. Um, no documentation or prep fees. Of course, all of our prices are out the door unless you're tax title and licensing and any additional accessories. But, of course, we've got the private campground and the training classes included. Let's go ahead and extend this awning. Let's extend. Now, this is a brand new awning, so it might take just a second at the end. So there's a little flap that will fold down. That lets you know that it's at its fullest extension. Once it's at its fullest uh, extent, then you guys want to make sure to not hold that any further because basically what will happen is it'll roll up on itself backwards and you could potentially damage the awning. So, right here, you'll notice there's the extension, but where's the flap? So it being a new awning, it's actually stuck to the top. There it is. So that lets you know right there, that's as far as it needs to go. And now let's take an overlook of this sweet travel trailer. Plenty of shade to be able to entertain friends and family outside. You've got an excellent little pitch adjustment right here. Simply pull this down. You guys can pitch the awning to one side or the other, depending on how you want the rain to fall off. To fall off. But be careful, always keep it at that angle whenever it comes out and don't ever push up past that point to make it like this because you will damage the awning. And unfortunately, due to warranty, 
um, a lot of awning damages are considered user error and are not covered. So just as an FYI. Ladies and gents, thank you so much for joining us. Please like, subscribe, comment, and share. We hope to see you soon. Happy camping. Headed on down the road On a new adventure Wherever we go Thanks to Great Escapes Great Escapes are the